common like the new form, that they may become for us the body and blood of our, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat on it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, myself, your unworthy servant, my brother Edward, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with all the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through Christ our Lord Jesus. For through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us greet each other in Christ's name.
Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are full with the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
receive the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor Mary the Virgin may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven through Christ the Lord. this time, we're going to bless one of the small images as a gift from the diocese to Frank. Lord God, in a very special way, in thanksgiving for the gift of the sorrowful mother from Frank and his family, we now bless this small image of it as a memento of thanksgiving to him and his family for his goodness to us his wife be at peace, and may they too find peace and consolation in the presence of the sorrowful mother, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's heavy. <laughs> God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.